Good morning, good morning, good morning to everyone and welcome to beautiful, beautiful Barbados. A lot better weather conditions today than it was yesterday, but as you all know, we have some pending weather coming in. So what I thought today I would do is I would start our walk here in Dover Beach. We will make our way down St. Lawrence Gap and onto Sandy Beach because we can do a before and after. So this is our before today. So I'm just going to start the, the camera on the other angle so you can see this is our before and then tomorrow we'll come back out at some stage of game showing a during and an after that is the intention right now and we'll see how that goes okay so let's start off this morning first of all by saying our serenity prayer i think that's the way we should start today so here we go god grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change the courage to change the things that we can and the wisdom to know the difference your will not ours be done amen all right, folks, we have a long walk for you. As I know, we will probably not be having any uh, live at 6 tomorrow morning. So I'm going to tell you right now that we're going to put that on hold. So unless you hear something from me tomorrow morning, we'll not be alive 6 a.m. We will be doing lives throughout the day, but we're not going to count them in our um, accumulation of uh, our attendees because it won't be an official set time. It will be when the weather permits. I will go out and get whatever footage I can for you so you can enjoy this as well. You can see there's quite a bit of sargasm here building up on this coastline. Um, this is all old though, you can see the colour of it. And you can actually see how it's beginning to start to hold the sand in place as well. We talked about that before. And you can see the erosion that's happened on this coast as well. So we're going to work our way down a little further now. Toronto, have a good day man. Alright bud. Alright, so here we go again. We're on our walk. This is going to be a long one this morning. So all of those of you that cannot stroll at the moment, or have difficulties in walking on sand and stuff I'm gonna take care of that for you today come join the entire family and myself and let us enjoy our day and our stroll all right we're gonna be leaving the beach now as I said so for those of you who are diehard Dover Beach people please have a look at it this is as close as we can be getting to the beach now today or to the end of that beach everyone knows what here looks like now but when I started surfing and when I started to live at this beach which was from the age of 16 to my early 20s this beach had nothing in this car park here it was a small gravel car park a little wall that used to run on the line here that people used to sit on hang out under the almond trees but those days are gone as you can see and we have progressed and we have developed this area as well all right as you can hear we have a little bit of um, noise here from the reed walker but we're gonna work our way through here anyhow now all these shops here are souvenir shops you're seeing in front of us, directly in front of us, souvenirs. You can get water sports here, Charles, water sports. Good morning, Penny. I know you follow this, so good morning to you, sir. And then around this section here, you can get your food and drinks, and whatever your delights are. So, full of action. All right, directly in front of us is the Dover playing field. You may know that as well, cricket football, tons of queue parties, tons of activities, lots of parties have been held on this field as well. It's a beautiful gap, but I don't think you've ever seen it this time of morning unless you've actually stayed here and taken an early morning stroll. So you're gonna be experiencing it in a different way today. Infinity on the beach is on the left and right here. Having a little bit of an issue here with this panning around this morning. Not too sure what's going on here. It's not obeying me at all. So let's see how we go from here. lovely facilities but as you would know we are sort of like really on the low occupancy rate right now and that's to be expected um, but if you want to do a little gambling and stuff you can do that here as well lots of activities in this gap this gap is the action spot I would risk to say on the island I would say that this is the most frequented party spot in Barbados um, that would not no that wouldn't Oysters doesn't come near this because this has multitude of partying areas bars restaurants well, he stands as he start, and then you come here for after that. It's like Harbor Lights. You go partying everywhere else, and then end up at Harbor Lights till daybreak almost. All right, the Shuttle House Village, unusual again. Something like your whole town set up. Small, independent shops, all housed in little shuttle homes. Beautiful, has a lovely character here as well. Souvenirs, anything you want. Information center, everything is here as well. Absolutely beautiful. It's so nice and peaceful in here at this time. I love the walk coming up here. I parked down by Sandy Beach instead of doing a walk up this morning, getting some extra steps. 
Baggies not as tight as they were. Still a little bit tight, but not as bad. Okay, this is Steakhouse Grill, and those of you who know Southern Palms by its color, don't have to tell you anymore. What you may not know is, unless you were here years and years ago, where you see at Southern Palms Beach Hotel, the home of the Kiwanis Club, that was the entrance to what used to be a, a nightclub called Unicorn One. There were the party days then. That would date you to when I started on the circuit, because it was there in Alexander's, um, were the main two spots that I remember when I first started out to party. Then it went into the garage and banana boat, etc. Pepper pot, obviously, but that, as you know, was only a weekend party time. That was either the Merry Men or the Merry Boys at that time, which turned into Ivory. And other bands, but they were the main two bands that were there, like house bands. There's a little mini golf course in here. If you're interested in playing some golf, you are staying at the um, Southern Palms area. They also have an outdoor exercise club just after this here as well. It's all the equipment this morning coming up. That's new to me. I didn't know it was there. But you know me, malicious, cautious, and as somebody said, gypsy, beige and style. <laughs> so, there we go. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning. I'm going to try and read a few comments, but they're not scrolling up at the moment, so can't really catch up on too many of them. Now, this place is certainly not like this, as you all know later on, especially in peak season. There will be vendors all on this section here, selling their handicraft and their arts. Um, there is one guy that comes here and does all of his baskets and woven stuff. He also has a display as well. I, I can't remember his name offhand, but his stuff is housed on that truck there. He will set that later on, depending on if there are people in the gap. And as I said, this is the gym section behind here. You will see they have an outdoor gym. All the equipment is in that area as well. So I'm not sure if that is new to Southern Palms or not. I know there are a lot of people on here that have stayed there. A lot of people that frequent this area, so you may be able to enlighten everyone if that's new. And as I said, there would be souvenirs all here by these beautiful mahogany trees. Stunning. Uh, South Winds is still here, DB South Winds. Um, it is absolutely beautiful. They really have kept it immaculately. And as you know, originally they had the beach club down here. It is still the beach club, but it's all actually pure ocean, which is a dining restaurant and stuff so you can come and eat here if you like even if you're not staying here i don't know how busy it is but i always recommend reservations and also to just make sure the time and if they're open because things have changed and everything is very very liquid we don't know what's exactly happening or when it's happening so you can always check out here if you're interested in dining in this area i'm not sure if um south winds allow you to book their tennis courts but they do have some tennis courts as well so if you are a tennis avid tennis player um, you can always give them a call so you can get some reservations there with them. A lot has changed on the beach side. They used to have a lot more building structures over here for the south winds. But a lot of that has gone down over the years. So this section is not in front of here. It does not look like it used to before. That's on the seaside, of course. If you're into archery, there is an archery club here as well. I'll show you that in a moment. I think one of the most beautiful available spots down here, I can only imagine the cost of it, would be this plot of land just below here. I remember when I was a young fella, they had a beautiful old Bajan home that was like lath and plaster uh, on this section here. And that has gone, but it was massive, very, very big home at one time. But this property is for sale. I can only imagine what the price would be. Actually, no, I cannot imagine what the price would be. Because this is what you got to call prime, prime spot. Now my girl has been after me to come and do this walk for a long time. But I was waiting on things, until things opened. But with the pending weather and stuff, I thought I would do a daytime now. Where we can take it in beautiful and quiet. And then as it opens back up, we will come and do a nighttime through St. Lawrence Gap. Yeah, that should be definitely thrilling. For sure. All right, this is the archery club that I was mentioning. So if you are down here and you want to try this out, just give them a call. See, uh, you know, if you have a chance to do so. Beautiful area. I remember when there was a house here as well. Lots of change. I mean, I, you got to remember, I've been in this gap here for 40, well, actually almost 50 years I've been walking through this gap. Every time I was a young fella before I even, before I even frequented the beach here. St. Lawrence Gap was somewhere you rode through. And, I, and uh, by the way, a two-way road, this used to be a two-way road. It is now a one-way road going from the Bridgetown direction towards Oystins. But it used to be a, a dual road. 
And in those days, you had to stop and pull over when something was coming the other way. And when I remember when they were doing the sewage system on the south post, this road here was chock a block with traffic going in both directions. All right, this is uh, Sharky's. This is uh, affiliated with the boatyard. Uh, lots of stuff going on here, but very, very quiet. Ross Trevor has been the main hotel that has been utilized for the visiting medical nurses and doctors who came in to help us with our COVID. So kudos for them for doing this there for us. I remember Ross Trevor as well. I used to actually have a very good friend that used to live here, um, just below in a little small cottage area. That's um, a guy you learned to surf with. So Trotto, if you're watching this video, my friend, kudos to you for being around all the time and kudos to you for being my friend throughout the years. Now, the biggest change I would say in this gap here, and there are many of them, but the biggest one was the shipping. The shipping was nothing like this here originally. For those that started in Barbados years and years ago, they'll remember the shipping was the original structure below there, the old Bajan style home. And then behind that, they had the Captain's Calvary restaurant in the later years. And then it developed out. And since it developed out, it actually, I would say, breaks went on. Nothing has really happened here. It's never really existed. Um, I'm not too sure what the future plans are, but that definitely lost its appeal to me in the, in the days gone by. And it hasn't consistently stayed open, so not sure what will happen with that in the future. Another change for those of you, this would be over the last maybe four years or five years, Hal's Backyard, Hal's Car Park Bar, I used to call it. Still call Hal's Car Park Bar, but as you'll notice, he doesn't have the car park behind anymore. It's very, very small now. But this is, I would say, is the last remaining open bar in the gap. I've been here to sunrise many times. So, and everything else was shut down but this. So this is a place you can come and hang out and chill. Remember there was a big dance floor and thing here before. I had a DJ, a karaoke. As you can see, it's limited now. Then we have Tabu. Now this was all the after dark. If you remember, the structure for the after dark used to span from here in an L shape right on the back of the Hal Car Park bar. And that was massive. That used to be a real party place. Everybody used to know about the after dark. We then have uh, the popular Matt Brides. It's a great place. We used to come here on Thursday nights to listen to some bands as well. Haven't been in here for a long time. So the gap at one time, I would say, close to died. Everything just seemed to go on a standstill. And then a few years ago, they started to restore the gap with bars and restaurants and stuff. And some people started to put money in it. The government started to help as well. That's when these cobblestones were laid and this was really beautified a lot. Um, but since then, the businesses had started to come up. Uh, just prior to COVID, these businesses were thriving. And this gap was in incredible condition. Great, but you know, it's changed now. I got to mention Crave because <laughs> if you're a party animal and the Cove, if you're a party animal, this is where you want to come. This is another party spot that goes on to the wee hours again. Strangely enough, right next to the church, but um, <laughs> the church does not function at time of night. So that's a good thing. And then uh, this area was originally, I remember you all know it as a cafe stall originally. This was a place you used to hang out and watch traffic as it passed, usually traffic morning. Usually traffic would have been intense up here. You would have sat up there and drank. This has been taken over um, a little while ago. This is Harbour Lights affiliated. And the rooftop bar was definitely something that was added very, very nice. It looks right over uh, Primo and down onto the coastline itself. Beautiful. Okay, we're gonna really tickle your memories here now. The Witch Doctor restaurant. Do you remember that here? That was local food specialty and just right next door. Beautiful, you remember this here as well, Pisces. But it's all changed now. Names have changed, styles of food have changed, but there's still food and action. And if you're a real meat lover, well, you all would know Palos. So you pay one price and you eat until you turn your plate over, basically. All right, this lagoon stagnates, as you all would know. So a lot of moss is sitting in here right now. Uh, this will take, this will be very difficult for this to move, but when it does move, it's spectacular. We have, uh, as you all would know, some pictures of here up on my Facebook with a big, big beach, and that will come back, it's seasonal. 
and then we can look into the area which I call home, which is Worthing Beach, Sandy Beach, Sand Terry Grove. I don't care what you call it, but you know where is my home already. All right, we can do a little walk in, um, in on the road just to get to the next section. At low tide, you can, let me just come back here for you. At low tide, you can actually walk around the point here. And about maybe knee deep. And just beyond these boats is a sandbar. You'll see the waves are starting to like break on it there. Um, I would say just maybe 100 yards beyond that. There's a sandbar that runs right out to the outer reef um, at low tide, which some of that comes up above the actual water level. So you have on the right kind of shoes and stuff. Just be wary though, remember beach shoes have po uh, or have holes in the bottom. So if you walk across that coral and any sea urchins and stuff, you're going to definitely get stuck. So be wary. But you can actually walk right out to that reef at low tide. It's absolutely beautiful in here. I used to work on a spot right here years ago called Marine Dive Tours. Uh, this is the first dive shop that I worked for years and years ago. It was located right where these coconut trees are. It was in a trailer. Actually, it was in a small shuttle home once and then into a trailer. I guess you all would, some of you may remember that. Yellow Bird Hotel, lots of people talk about here. It is definitely a nice hotel. Lots and lots of people have talked about this. Everything I've heard about this hotel here has been positive. I haven't heard anything negative about that. Likewise, I really haven't heard much negatives about anywhere in the gap, so let me clarify that for you. I really haven't heard any at all. This place here is, holds memories for many, many people, and memories that will go with them to the grave. This is the cafe stall a few years ago that opened when the one in the corner um, came to an end, and this is the new cafe stall. Again, it's built that you can sit and watch traffic. Traffic doesn't back up here as it would have in the other location, but beautiful dining. I know for sure the cocktails here are brilliant. I have been here many times in the years gone by and had some scrumptious cocktails. All right, we're going on to Highway 7, Extins in Lawrence Gap now. As I said, we do have a long one for you today, but we don't know what tomorrow will bring. So let's do a nice one today and enjoy this. For those of you that have to go, I understand fully. Not a problem. Thank you for coming on. For those of you who are staying, again, I thank you for having the time to stay and I thank you for your time. Time is something that I don't accept that's just given to me. That's something that I, ha I have to say thank you for. And that's to everyone who follows these. Okay, Castaways is just here on my left. This used to be known as David's Bar, you'd remember that. Castaways, sorry, it's just above. I walked past it a little bit too fast for you. But this is where David's Bar used to be. You remember that, I'm sure, the restaurant. Now what was the Worthing Police Station is just over there behind us, the center of the screen. Um, Worthing is no longer in existence as a police station. I'm not sure if they use it for anything else, but not as a police station. That has now merged with the one from Hastings and they built a brand new structure, as you all would know, um, just down by Sugar Bay. A lovely, lovely police facility. This used to be a post office as well in the front section, police and post office. Not, I'm talking about years ago now. Yeah, lots have changed here, you know, we've seen, if you've lived in Barbados or if you were here many, many years ago, you've seen some huge changes. Some for the better, I wouldn't say some for the worse, but some that are not as nice as some of them for sure. Let's put it that way. Now, I'm not able to take you over the actual uh, washway to the, from the swamp, the Sleuth Gate, because this morning I went over there and it's very tricky to get over it because all of the sand from in front of it on the beach side is gone. So you have to walk over a plank of wood and there's lots of sand around so I really don't want to have a fall or lose the equipment or anything else. Not worth it, of course. Graham Hall Swamp, some of you may remember when it was a nature reserve. Had a bird aviary there. It was absolutely a stunning facility but that sort of like went down over the years. Um, I think just due to a lack of people going. And this is the washway that will go down to Southgate. This comes from Graham Hall Swamp itself which is just behind these trees. There's still a cafe in there. Um, I'm not sure if it's actually open at this moment. Um, I know that there is a cafe uh, up to a couple of months ago, just before the real COVID clamped down. And I'll show you some other stuff that's going on here. You would know that we lost one of the old homes in this general area here to fire um, a month or so back. I think some of you may remember that but the old homes that were above here have also been taken down. 
I saw the police here the other day with the tractors dismantling this old structure. So this whole area is being cleaned up. So for any of you that come to Worthing, will um, be seeing something much, much better in the near future. All this area is being cleaned by the government, which is, uh, I think, amazing. All right, if you want to spend the entire day here, you can come here, of course. All the facilities here, besides the numerous bars and restaurants, we also have a full washroom facility here. And the NCC here provide a free Wi-Fi service. Again, kudos to NCC for all the free Wi-Fi around the island. I think it's brilliant. And for those of you that will be partying here in Barbados in next year, you all know about Tickles. You all know what's going on here already. And if you don't know, check out Canadians in Barbados, that group. You will know exactly what's going on. It's not only for Canadians, it's for everyone. So just check it out. All right, I was telling you about all the sand gone, and that's why I couldn't come around the front of the south gate, but now I'll actually show you it. You will notice the erosion that's gone on here again. Lots of sand has moved, tons of sand. Uh, so I obviously couldn't come around the front of that, and coming over, as I said, is not that safe, really. We have a lot of sargasm here. You all would know that from last week and stuff I've shown you. But remember, today is a before, and tomorrow will be an after. And that sounds, um, I know, I, I don't know what's going to happen with the weather system, but if it goes on track of where it's supposed to go, we will get some very large south swells and surges and some winds out of the north first and then the south after. And we will be seeing uh, probably an impact on this coastline. So I want to bring you past my favorite beach in the world. Um, we know there's some trees below here that are under threat. So I don't know how they will survive this system, um, but we'll wait and see. Yeah, what's up, man? You good? All right, respect, man. Yeah, full of sargasm. All right, the house I mentioned about burning down was just here. That burned down approximately a month ago. Remember, time lapses for me, so maybe a little bit off by a week or two. And then above that whole area is getting cleaned up by the, um, by the government now, which is going to be wonderful because all here will be a nice clean area shortly. I think that will just enhance the area for sure. Anyone that knows, uh, uh, anyone that wants to rent chairs here, there's Ning Ning and there's also a spotter. Spotter is located there. Ning Ning is located in the above section here. You can get beach chairs and umbrellas and stuff if you want. And the very famous Car Beach Bar. I have to say the very famous because from the time I was Nihaita Grasshopper, this was Car Beach Bar. It went through many, many changes. Just to carry through a quick piece of past history, when I was in my just early 20s, there was no beach here, no beach here at all. I used to get out of my vehicle, which is parked on that big tree, and walk right into the sea. Well, just a very small shoreline. Then it built huge, way, way, way out to where the groin is there. I would say it was just outside of where that furthest point of groin is. Maybe a little further out than that, actually, and they had coconut trees in the water. Where's the water now there? Um, they went down. I think it was Hurricane Ivan that took care of the rest of them. But the beach started to go. I was saying the, just as the 2000s turned and it just went again. So from the 80s to the 2000s, the beach built and then it started to go again after that. All right, Car Beach Bar, as I mentioned before. Now, this is my favorite beach in the world. Cosmetically, it's not the most beautiful beach. We have seen some spectacular beaches on the West Coast, but this is where my heart lives. And that's the thing I keep telling people. You know, you don't, have to, you don't have to have the most beautiful beach. It's where you feel at home. You know, we have homes all over. I have a top 20 beaches around the island and you'll be surprised that some of the ones that are not in there. But it's just, I just don't feel it there. And that is what's important to me. Feel the surroundings. And if your heart starts to settle there, that is where it is. But this is my haunt. I would have to say from the 2000s for sure, I was on this beach all, all the time. I have some very, very close friends. They call families, brothers and sisters now that I've met in this area here. Crystal Waters, no big action going on today, of course, but they do have the Sunday Mr. Impact Days here live on Sundays. Very small crowd at the moment, but remember, the situation is changing. All right, this has not changed though, unfortunately. I was really hoping to see some boulders or something drop to protect these because I don't know what's coming, but if I, if you swell, it's looking like it's gonna come and surge, especially surge, um, it's coming, especially with the high tides and stuff that we're experiencing. I, I'm hoping, just praying that these trees will stand. So let's just pray that will happen. Yeah, morning, Ross. All right, man. Respect. All right, the Sands Hotel. I'm going to walk you right through the NS Beach today. We've done it before, but 
today we're gonna give you a nice walk as I said if you had to leave I understand fully if you didn't I do appreciate your company all right as you can see the beach has gone here as well this was a originally a ten table tennis table that you see here years ago and I am not exaggerating halfway between me and the scotch and soda there was a coconut tree and then there was another grove I would say maybe quarter way between me and the scotch and soda and then there was another line of trees that were directly in front of here so lots of changes because back in my day when I first started coming to this beach there was no beach here at all there were no trees that wall there for crystal waters you see you sit on that you couldn't walk around in front of Chateau Blanc without getting wet and that's for sure and if it was rough you couldn't walk around there at all you get hammered on the wall so things have changed tremendously over the years so mother nature has a way of giving us and then taking it back unfortunately we as humans sometimes accelerate that or make it even worse so and you know we'll see what happens going forward everything happens happens for a reason and nothing happens that God is not aware of so this is where I usually park this is my VIP parking um, this is where I've been parking for a long 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 time and this is right behind a grove here of coconut trees all of these trees not these taller ones here not these uh, four or so here but these smaller trees here have been planted by a family that I named this grove after called the San Terry family they're out of uh, Granby in Quebec and they are down here every year usually for like three months this is their smallest tree this is actually about six years ago they planted this it's never really taken off but I like to call this our office this is where we meet usually around January late January into February and March and everybody that know, has been here before sat here knows why we call this the office we do nothing here we don't work here and we earn everything called beauty and peace all right lots lots of erosion so now we have this incoming swell that we're gonna be seeing you know here's gonna be a lot worse um, but we will see that they said today is a before we will most definitely be doing a during and after all right don't want to walk down any fishermen down there so I will end off our video here today it's been a very long one I think close to 30 minutes just let me explain to you where we are and what we're seeing all right directly beyond this fisherman here is where we go into an area called Capcrabine all in Worthing and some people refer to it as a Worthing Beach too Worthing Beach is referred to so from the Sleuth Gate right down to Capcrabine but we call them in different sections it's Capcrabine Sandy Beach and then there's the Carib Beach which is known as Worthing um, as you will see erosion down there is crazy that is normally a wider beach but as I said it is a seasonal erosion but this is pretty bad we haven't really seen a lot of sand there for a while now just around the corner which is the, what we call Catra Bank where the Casarina trees are we go into Rockley which is Accra and then you hit the boardwalk and you go right down the boardwalk and the very last point is just before the absolute western end of the boardwalk just above Coconut Port Hotel alright so that gives you an idea of where we are looking at so folks we've had a long one today but we know tomorrow is going to be a different kind of day so we're going to keep our heads down we're going to pray that everything is okay we pray for all of our neighbors we pray for all of us on the island and we pray for Barbados in general and we just wish everyone safe safe night and safe into tomorrow uh, I will be around for sure that that goes without saying I'll be around at some stage tomorrow as long as it is safe that I deem it safe to go outside I'll be going out and doing some footage because I always do that it's not something I don't do the war wagon is prepared and I'm prepared and I'm spiritually protected so as long as I'm not ignorant um, everything will be fine and I, I'm not ignorant trust me I have way too much to live for I have an amazing life God has treated me with gifts and blessings that I never imagined possible so if you see me on the road trust me I am as safe as is physically possible so don't worry about it I will be fine I've done this here now I've been doing this here for over 40 years following storms and stuff um, I don't have my partner with me this year but I do have someone that's wanted to come with me who is eager to come with me a surfer called Ryan Ryan good morning to you sir don't forget I'm gonna be calling you so keep your phone nearby and um, that's pretty much it so everyone you all have a safe and blessed day from Barbados I greet you good morning uh, I tell you that we're gonna have a fantastic day here today as you can see it's gonna be just stunning and we're all blessed to see another day for sure thanks to you all for coming around with me I'm gonna get somewhere I can do a 360 for you because I do forget that sometimes and uh, I'm gonna try it now I like to talk so difficult for me to go quiet but I am getting better I am getting better all my friends will tell you that we're here from the beginning 
in September and stuff, you wouldn't have heard me stop. So here we go. This is going to be our can do it from there because they're not standing up right now. All right, this is going to be our side at 360. Here we go, folks. She did it. I'm super proud of myself. All right, so folks, go far today, please. Go far in peace. Um, love each other. I'm watching some unbelievable love and care being exchanged and information being exchanged this morning, uh, as always. But this morning, I'm seeing lots and lots of memories that are being brought up here in the group. There's nothing that pleases me more than to hear people uh, talking about their memories because that way, then I know they're syncing with what's going on here. I know that they're probably feeling the sea spray. I know they're smelling the sea. And I know for sure they're feeling the sand between their toes because that is what your mind can do. The power of your mind is unbelievable. God has uh, given us minds that are incredible. We just need to put them to the right use and serve and serve Him the right way. So one more time, I'll just say peace to you all. I love you all. Remember that we are not perfect. We will make mistakes. But let us try and learn from the mistakes. And let us have a fantastic day. Go forward in peace, be safe, and take care. And trust me, we will be out tomorrow. So you keep your alerts on and you keep your eyes open because we will be on the road tomorrow for sure. What time? I don't know. It depends on how severe it gets. I am hoping to get a surf in the morning first thing uh, before the weather comes in, but we'll see how that goes. So you all stay, uh, stay safe. I will stay safe, I promise you. And you all keep well and remember, you have to take care of yourself first if you're going to take care of anyone else. You have to love yourself first if you're going to love someone else. And in order to do that, you have to forgive yourself. Stop blaming yourself and stop hating yourself in some cases. Because what you have done in the past, you did the best you could at the time. You did it with the knowledge that you had at the time. What you do today is all of the knowledge that you gained up to yesterday. So you put that to use and go forward. You have any challenges resort to your serenity prayer and i think actually we can do that again now we don't ever do two serenity prayers in one day well we did it once i think but because of what the incoming weather and stuff maybe just for the ones that are on the island whether you're vacationing here um, or whether you're living here or whether you're born and raised Bajan, let's do a serenity prayer god grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change the courage to change the things that we can and the wisdom to know the difference your will, not ours, be done. Amen. See you all later. Have a fantastic day, everyone.